Hi guys, um, last week I installed the solar panels. Uh, this time around uh, I will be uh, doing the wiring between the panels. Uh, I used uh, MC4 uh, branch connectors uh, and the cables that uh, came from the panels. Some I shortened, some I lengthened, uh, but it worked out fine I think. Let's have a look. Okie doke. Gonna guide the cables from the front all the way to the back. So. These wires are about three feet long. And they will extend over the second panel so I'm trying to get these as far to the back as possible so I have to figure out what the best way is to guide them to the front and either put them in the rain gutter or guide them onto the panels. There is enough wide area on the panels that I can use. <coughs> but first of all, I wonder how well I can attach it to the panels. Problem is if I guide them on here, I have to guide them back around. However, at the same time, when I have to make a connection a little bit further on I have to connect those cables and where do I put those cables and uh, these connectors the easiest way is to put here on the on these white parts because doing that over here, that doesn't work. Probably have to put them partially just next to each other and then partially starting here on the roof. At least this part works from here and then a second wire out there. I'm using cable tie mounts to install the cables on the roof. They do come with their own uh, glue surface or sticky tape on the back, uh, but I removed that because I didn't find it uh, too good working, uh, for sure, on the exterior. On the interior, that's a little bit different. Then I use a cable tie, put the cables on top, and then the cable tie can go underneath and fasten the cables. Instead of the sticky tape they, uh, they use, I'll uh, use uh, a piece of uh, the VHB that I have on the bottom. It's almost the same size. It's the same size, half an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, and that will secure it uh, for sure on the roof of the, of the van. At least I have a few cable mounts available. They first have, have to pass by here, so well, that's then easy. You have to try to keep them on this little edge. I wonder, in this part of the gutter, I have a full width, and it's not the lowest part. So the water will flow to the lowest part at least. But I'll have to turn them onto the white to make the connection here. I'll do one 
out here that's probably about six inches or so. We'll use a little bit of the uh, alcohol solution, alcohol and water, to clean the roof where the VHB tape will be fixed. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that sticks <laughs> incredibly well. And then third one, that's a lot easier. Then I get these cable ties. And these cables are completely out of sight. You probably can see from down here. Before I proceed, I'll be taking off. the way it looks and has these dimples and that's uh, where the ETFE surface layer is I need an extension cable uh, for the wiring between two panels. So I have a couple of connectors, MC4. I need two male and two female. I got some of the uh, metal parts First thing that I'm gonna do is cover both panels. Okay, that works. Because when connecting or disconnecting these MC4 connectors, you really have to reduce the power on these panels. Yep. That is the negative. Yep. And that's this one, and that's correct. So that's one wire disconnected. So I pull this off uh, one of the panels. It has a female connection, so I'll put a Male connection on. Now these metal connectors, they look alike but they're different in length and in thickness. You've got narrow ones and wider ones. Okay, so the female ones have the small, the narrow piece and the males have the wider piece. Only the top part is being squeezed together, but I'll put a little bit of the top of the wire inside the plug. Let's 
see. That is really a solid connection. Okay. That really is a solid connection. That works fine. And fairly easy if you know what you're doing. That this continues here to connect up with this wire. And what we'll have to do is put a connector on this side that we can connect in here. Do need a smaller one in this. a solid connection. So and that is a full connection on the negative side.
Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.